The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Today is no mere feast, but a solemnity, a holy day of obligation. Why? Because the church wishes for us to learn something today, to see something today, to understand something most profoundly important. What is it that we are to see today? Mary, at the end of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul into heaven. She was assumed body and soul into heaven. But you will not be assumed body and soul into heaven. When you die, and you will die, your body will go into decay. Your body and the bodies of everyone you love, including the little children sitting next to you, will be eaten by worms. Remember, man, that thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return. But in our Blessed Mother's Assumption, body and soul, uncorrupted by sin or by death, our Lord makes a promise to us, to all of us who are not free of the taint of sin, to all of us who are doomed to die and our souls waiting for our bodies in the resurrection of the dead. Sometime at Mass today, look at someone else here in church someone whom you love 
and understand that this great solemnity means in Christ that you will see them again not just ghost to ghost or soul to soul you will see them face to face even as you will behold the very face of our Blessed Mother and of our Lord. Look into that face here in church today. That face that one day will turn to dust. But in Christ Jesus will rise again at the resurrection of the body. No other religion believes that. No other religion believes that our bodies will be raised on the last day. We are Catholics not Hindus, not Buddhists. We do not believe in reincarnation. We believe in the resurrection of the body. And Mary is first. O oh, Blessed Mother, you who are conceived without sin, you who are untainted by the corruption of death, pray for us that we too might one day set free from sin, set free from death in the resurrection of Christ. O oh, Blessed Mother, pray for us now and at the hour of our death that may we see one another again face to face that we might see you, O oh Blessed Mother, face to face. And as truly as I see Barb and Anne and Neil that I might see Jesus face to face.